Hi, welcome to hidden Markov model session. The hidden Markov model is a stochastic model that is a combination of hidden Markov chains and its observed variables. The, uh, the hidden Markov model always is combination of the set of states yes which are all hidden and the set of observation which are all produced by this hidden states an instance of hmm uh, passes through a sequence of states you consider that set of uh, uh, states are available which are denoted x x1 x2 etc etc and x3 plus 1 here the state will be constructed de depends upon the time period t so that's why we are using here the variable t to denote the time period so each state is having uh, its own time to generate its observations uh, here each state is emitting an observation that results sequence of observations o1 o2 etc ot plus 1 that means x1 generates the o1 and x3 plus 1 generates the ot plus 1 like that x3 plus 2 will generate the ot plus 2 and here we assume that we cannot observe that hidden state x3 because here uh, the state is unknown to the user uh, because of it is hidden state but we can access the observation which is emitted by this particular state that means we can access the output of the state which is generated by this corresponding state x1 but we cannot directly access this hidden state's values by which we can observe that uh, hidden state xt by using the probability of transition uh, probability of i to j that denotes the transition probability from state i to state j at any time t here the uh, HMM model is denoted with diagram the state hidden state x1 is generating the observation o1 and making the transition uh, by using some uh, value from the state x1 to x2 denoted with probability of transition value i to j and once uh, the state x2 is reached the next two will generate the observation o2 but here we are unknown about the state value we can access the uh, observation value and from the state x2 by using the transition probability the st system will move into the next state x3 once x3 is uh, reached it will generate the observation o3 like that we can move until t plus 1 time period Finally, the xt plus 1, once it is reached from the xt, it generates the observation ot plus 1. We should remember that uh, which is evolves over the time that produces a sequence of observations. The system is evolving over the time that during that evol uh, evolving, uh, it will generate the sequence of observation by sequence of hidden states. That is one of the characteristics of this system and next characteristics by using this domain specific knowledge we have to consider that observations then work backwards uh, towards the system and in this backward direction we can identify the hidden state by using maximal probable ground truth value and here the HMM is working uh, based upon starting with initial state S0 or which is denoted with X1 here. So this is the initial state we have started with that and generate some observation O. Here you see O1 is generated uh, by the current state X1 right and move to the next state by using the transition probability I to J of uh, here I is 1 and uh, J is 2 so it can be denoted by using the next state given current state so probability of next state given current state again go back to the step 2 uh, continue the uh, 
a same process that means generate the once you, you reach the x2 it generates the observation then third step is move to the next state by using some transition probability then uh, it, it, it that is denoted by probability of x3 given x2 right once it reached the x3 then it generates the o3 so it will keep on uh, go the given time period here the learning pattern learning using an hmm uh, that is given data given data patterns learning by hmm model uh, uh, which is involving fitting these probabilities to the training data set and it will predict the values of new uh, new uh, new states by discovering the sequence of states so here we are having the sequence of states from this states the current state will predict the next state uh, and here the state can be predicted by using the observations hidden states are predicted by using the observations and the, what is the goal of hmm model first we should learn the patterns by using sequential data then from the learning it is recognizing the patterns of that given data then find the prediction uh, of that particular data so here the from the observations we should identify the hidden states it can be used in different applications like speech recognition uh, natural language programming handwriting recognition and biological sequence analysis that is dna analysis uh, protein analysis so here in the nlp uh, the next word is predicted by the previous word in the sentence okay and uh, speech recognition also the uh, it is recogni i mean it is converting that voice into a speech and it is recognizing the uh, speech okay uh, uh, here uh, different applications are using the hidden marco model why do we need hidden marco model the hidden marco model is the combination of marco chains and the uh, combination of states okay observed values so here the x is called discrete state variable which is a hidden state okay so which is unable to observe by the user so this can be explained by the marco chains so which is having hidden variables of the given model in a probabilistic graphical model the marco assumption states that the conditional distribution of a variable is independent of all other variables in the graph when the parent nodes of that variable is unknown that means here uh, probability of next state is only depends upon the current state it is uh, it is not need of all other earlier uh then current states okay the assumption in the markov chain is one first assumption is limited horizon assumption that means the observation of the state xt is uh, only depending on the uh, state t minus 1 okay that means the next state xt only depends upon the xt minus 1 that is the uh, current state okay so it can be denoted in the mathematical mathematical notation probability of xt xt minus 1 xt minus 2 etc x1 it can be denoted as yes, the next state is depends only on the current state so current state is denoted with t minus 1 and uh, next state denoted with t here it denotes the next state only depends upon the current state it is independent of all other previous states previous states are x t minus 2 x t minus x t minus 3 etc so these states are not impact not having the impact on the next state only the current state is uh, uh having impact on the next state and the next assumption is stationary process assumption the conditional distribution over the next state given the current state does not change over the time period because here the next state is depends upon the current state so here we are using the time period so this time period is we are using t here t minus 1 this value will not change at the t plus 1 
at the t plus 2. So, the conditional probability value over the next state which is not changing when the time period is uh, increasing. The next step is independent of all previous steps. That means the next state only depending on the current state. It is not depending on all the previous steps. Okay. So, it can be denoted by probability of next state uh, given uh, current state equal to probability of here next state x2 given probability of uh, first I mean current state x1. So, this is the thing here time period denoted with 2 to t. Uh, here notations are used s0 is the initial state and it can be denoted with x0. So, when you are using the x0 as the initial uh, state then it can be represented by with at a time period 1 probability of uh, next state x1 at the time t1 uh, given probability of x0 at the time t0. So, that is the thing. So, initial probability is s0 is assigned to the x0 and initial state probability denoted with the notation pi. So, this can be uh, denoted with the mathematical notation probability of xt given xt minus 1, xt minus 2, xt x1. So, if you are writing like this, right, so this can be uh, ha having the initial state also. So, initial state is also included in this, uh, in this mathematical notation because the initial state is uh, pr uh, predicting the next state x1, x1 predicting the next state x2. So, that is the uh, way to denote the hidden Markov model by using hidden Markov chain process.